this movie touched on slavery, but sort of in a like a subtle way. Yeah. Um, it definitely went like the incarceration route, so it was more of like a modern day slavery. Despite whatever um, racism there is with people actually getting arrested, but once you're in there, you work for nothing. Private corporations that own these prisons, mm -hmm. they're getting free labor mm -hmm. from the people inside of these prisons, yep. which they're then profiting on. I mean, to me, that's, that's exactly, slavery. that's slavery. <laughs> that's <laughs> slavery. If you, you think about mass incarceration, mm -hmm. and, you know, how that relates to slavery or whatever, you put, you take these people, take them out of society, and you, you know, lock them up. Mm -hmm. They don't have a voice, you know, they can't be heard. Mm -hmm. They're forgotten about, whatever. You know, you can relate that to like the sunken place. Slavery is definitely represented in the movie. You've got the field hand slash groundskeeper. You've got the, the maid who could easily just be considered uh, the house slave. And then you've got the way that the, the other guy, the black character that got kidnapped in the first scene, the way he's kind of paraded around um, as a trophy. And all those things were very kind of evident and, and elements of traditional slavery. That's exactly how we were treated. You could take like any sports draft and, oh, yeah. you know, compare it to that. Because you put all these players up on the auction block, because that's, that's how it was, you know, when they tried to sell slaves. Yeah, you yeah. know, they put them up on the, on the auction block, smack them a little bit. Look at this one, he's strong. Mm -hmm. You know, he can, you know, produce for you. Boom, what's, what's the difference between, you know, athletes producing for a team owner, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? College sports, those kids don't get paid anything. They've been pushed through school, they say, don't worry about taking all these classes, it's not a big deal, and they come out and they have a degree that doesn't matter, and hopefully they get drafted. Yeah. And if they don't, a small the school yeah. just made millions off of you for four years, worked your body to the bone, made all this money, and then spat you out. We'll go places, like anywhere, and people come up to him and they, they're trying to figure out what team he plays for. Yeah. They, they, they assume he's got to be an athlete. No, they so, don't ask me anything else. No, it's, it's never it's always, like, hey, what oh, are you team, an hour traffic controller? What team you no. play for? Mm -hmm. And know? it's always, and then they'll come to me and be like, what team did he play for? Yep. People don't acknowledge positive stereotypes. So like a positive stereotype is still a stereotype. Yeah. Right. And mm -hmm. that's that. The dancing one, the rhythm, oh man, that one gets me every time. Every time. And people don't understand the power of a positive stereotype. Like as soon right. as you start labeling a community as, you know, not only all the bad things you think about, like mm -hmm. thugs, criminals, you know, whatever, but that they're all superstar athletes and they're all great dancers and they all are musically talented or whatever, like, stop. If it's ingrained in them where they assume that any strong looking black man yeah. is gonna be an athlete, that's yeah. his only option in life is to be an athlete or a rapper maybe. Yeah. And those are the only two paths. I mean, to me, that's subtle racism. It is. I mean, he has a very good job. He's a very educated person, but they always assume he's a athlete. Right. It's like in the movie when the, the black guy goes up and talks to someone and like they immediately need to find something to relate with you to yeah. and it's just like, oh hey, I know Tiger Woods. I voted like, for Obama. That's, <laughs> that's really good. I'm gonna list off all the black people I know now too. Yeah, like, quick. yeah you said the game last night, I don't watch basketball maybe. You know like, right. Right. Yes, well, yes, well, I actually hate basketball. basketball. I actually hate basketball, <laughs> like, you know like, <laughs> things like that, it, it's never just, hello. no, it's, it has to come with something with some Extras. olive branch that I don't need. And I hate when they say, this is black culture. No, it's not. Right. Because he likes rap music and he's darker, that means that I like this and I like that. There's too many associations. Yeah. You know, I'm an individual. I like this because it's me.